Hi, I'm Anthony, and today I am going to be seeing if the Zentorno can handle Hypercross, because as we all know, this is the best off-roading vehicle in the game, apparently. And I'm not lying, and actually, I don't have any way to actually uh, combat that analysis, because this thing is so good off-road. I've taken it to, like, all these racetracks and stuff, and sometimes they have off-road sections where most of the hypercars can't go through, but not the Zentorno. This thing has the best all-wheel drive in the game, and it's so good for off-road. It's like it's literally meant to be built for going off-road. It's crazy. Anyway, to test how good it really is off-road, we're taking it across Hypercross, which as you all know, it's a little bit of a tough track at the best of times. So yeah, let's see how it does. Now, our first real section is coming up, and I'm not going to baby myself through this. I am going to go straight across like this, and into the... Oh god, that was a bad idea. Okay, well, it's fine. The Zentorno is okay. Zentorno can handle it. We'll just go water skiing for a bit, I guess. And then... Up here? Yeah, I remember Hypercross, hopefully. Maybe I should put a barrier there, just so people know. Oh, geez, okay, it rolled over, perfect. Exactly what we needed. Now let's take it up here. Now, if I, oh, if I remember correctly, this map had a sneaky thing to go up, but I'm not gonna be taking that. I'll show you it when I get to the top of the hill, though. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going for the best lap time. I just want to see if this thing can survive. For the next lap, I'll go for the best lap time. So, here. You get to the top of this hill. And the way to go is that way, but I sneakily added this bit. We're not going to be taking that. We are going straight up that tube. This is not going to go well. Oh, and I realized the reason why my microphone's echoing. It's because the TV volume is too high and the Blue Yeti is picking it up. And apparently, PS4 doesn't want to connect both the controller audio and the uh, microphone audio at the same time. So I can't connect headphones to it. And headphones don't connect to the Yeti normally. So we'll just have to deal with it this way with me not really being able to hear anything. So far, it's not doing that bad. It's a little hard to control it in the air, which is a little bit of a downside to this car, but otherwise it's great. Now, this next part, though, is what's concerning me, because this is the toughest bit of the track right here coming up. Perfect. Oh, it's doing better than I thought it would over here. It's actually handling it very nicely. Oh, uh, there it goes. Okay, never mind. I probably shouldn't have said that. Alright, it's over. Perfect. And now we can continue. I'm gonna be safe and take it a little cautiously over this mountain. Perfect. All right. Now, once we get to the start line, we're going to start hot lapping this thing. Let's see how it does. So our lap right now is five minutes. Let's see if we can get it quicker than that. And if you're wondering, I'm probably going to do this for all the other tracks, too. 
I'll get back to making some more GTA 5 races soon. The reason why I haven't recorded any GTA videos is because uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to uninstall the game so that I could fix this bug that's apparently making all my cars slower than they actually are. Well, the bug is fixed now, but before I tried to reinstall the game and it wasn't installing properly, which was really annoying because apparently the disc was like broken or something or it was just not cleaned properly and that messed it up but luckily we have the disc clean so now I could actually install the game again and everything is perfectly fine yeah who knows what Rockstar is doing in their updates because it's just like breaking the game every time Jeez, okay, that was close. Alright, perfect. Everything's going fine so far. Alright. Let's hope I don't crash miserably this time. <laughs> like I almost just did there. Let's take this way this time. The other way didn't go so well. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot nicer. <gasps> no! <laughs> Why did I have to say that? Oh, that's sad. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I've got it all under control. <laughs> oh, that did not go well. Yeah, nice and turn them. Keep going. Yeah! Oh jeez. And up the ramp and oh, we're gonna fly further than last time, I think. Ah, perfect. That's where I want to go. Uh-oh. Okay, it's fine. Absolutely fine. Well, we just shaped off an entire minute, I think. That's great. I have a feeling that this lap is going to be quicker than the trophy truck set. It's a weird feeling, but... I just do feel it. And done! 8 minutes 52, although the last lap we had was 3 minutes 49. 3.49 is a really fast lap on Hypercross.